Pupils of the Patua Primary School in the Garu Timpani district of the Upper East Region are still studying in a dilapidated school building destroyed by rainstorm. Though the district assembly is aware of the poor condition of the school, it has rather put up a two-seater water closet place of convenience for the school, a report by Eva Atibuka. Although the district can boast of quite good educational infrastructure, pupils of Patua Primary School study in this structure. Built in 2007, this is what is left of it. A little push could bring the whole structure down. With a population of a little over 200, the kindergarten class and primary one sit in the same classroom. Some pupils hang on benches, while others make do with mats on the floor. Four volunteer teachers and two trained ones handle the school. The sight of the clouds in the skies means classes had to end. It's not well roofed and you can see for yourself the leaky aura. It's not conducive. We have to dismiss the children to go home because we wouldn't know the type of rain coming and it could be dangerous. So, Nanana Sakura Kasonga. Not happy that the child is here. Even though when it gets to rain time, you know the whole this school rooms is just leaking here and there. So due to that one, the state is not going on well. She is not happy of that. The district assembly is aware of the plight of the school, and yet has rather put up a two-seater water closet place of convenience for the school. We wanted a classroom, and they came and built this one for us. It's supposed to be used with uh, tap water. And there is no water running here, so we don't use it. The district assembly defended the action. As part of ensuring cleanliness, ensuring that there is sanitation in, in the district, all institutions, whether public or private, we ensure that we help construct a toilet facility, just like you saw over there. The structure collapsed on an eight-year-old girl who says she's aspiring to secure a brighter future through education. She was left with head injuries. I say it's much unfortunate. This shouldn't happen in this, this era. In trying to construct, and you should consult. But if you insist and want to have your own school, it shouldn't be uh, to the detriment or the peril of people's lives. If I think that the, the school is endangering people's lives, I may have to advise them to close down the school. The district assembly, however, promised to put up a new school block for the community. We have budgeted for it for this year uh, under this DDF facility. And I'm sure that uh, by the close of 2015 or early 2016, they should have a school block in place. I, I, Meanwhile, I these pupils would have to continue to study here until a new school block is completed. Mm -hmm.